So there I was. I was 28 years old. I'm working at the Philadelphia Inquirer. I am a pop culture reporter, and I'm writing about like WrestleMania and the Pillsbury Bake Off, and life is really, really good. And then I get dumped by this guy, and I am devastated. I decided to write a book where the girl would be a lot like me, and she would get this fantastic happy ending because I didn't know if I was going to get a happy ending, and that became good in bed. I was really surprised by how many women sort of said, you know, this is my story, this, this feels like my life you're writing about. And I think a lot of women really responded to Candy's voice, which was um, a little bit fresh and sarcastic, where maybe that's sort of how women talk to themselves or talk to their friends or, or sound in their own head, but maybe it was a voice they hadn't seen on the page yet. In my earlier books, it was sort of like my life at that moment. Like, I'm single, so I write Good in Bed, which is about a single girl. And then I get married, so In Her Shoes is about sort of engagement and marriage and family relationships and sister relationships. And then I have a baby, and Little Earthquakes is about new motherhood. Certain Girls is sort of a forward-looking book, because obviously I don't have a 13-year-old. I always knew I wanted to come back to Canny's story, and I always knew I didn't want it to be sort of, it's six weeks later and she's struggling with like exactly the same stuff with Good in Bed. I wanted to write about Canny as a mother. Um, I wanted to write about Joy, her daughter, as a character with her own voice. Being a mother has been good for my writing in terms of having less time to actually write but being intensely focused when I do have time to write. Um, used to be when I left the Philadelphia Inquirer and was doing fiction full time, you know, you'd sort of noodle around, you'd wake up in the morning and you'd check your email and go to the gym and now that I have two daughters, I'm very focused. I think that the most honest thing I've ever read about writing is, is you ask a writer why she writes and, and the answer is I don't have a choice. I mean I think that there's something that really compels you to sort of tell those stories and get them down on the page and um, you know just sort of grab somebody by the sleeve and say you know I have this unbelievable story to tell you or I have this like funny character or this like situation that like is you're just not going to believe it and you're going to want to find out how it ends.